wanted to kind of, you know, help the fellas out because, you know, we've all gone through, you know, through blow ups, right? We weren't always, you know, we were fugly at some point. Right? Fugly? Fugly. It's funny. I was, I was scuggly, bro. You were scuggly? Yeah. And what does that mean? Skinny and ugly, bro. <laughs> that I was, crazy. I was fugly. I was fat and ugly. It's crazy. <laughs> what were you? Like, I was like, none of those. <laughs> nah. I was, I don't know. I didn't came up with a word. You were lugly. Lugly. Light skin and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> What's good? What's <laughs> up? It's your boy Serge, Matt, Carl, and welcome to the Sergio Talks podcast. Um, obviously, as we are in, still the oh my god, you're talking about fucking Can't English. Can't English start bro. Bro. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Two minutes. We are still in the Le Remarque studio. I think I'm just excited for this episode. Yeah, because <laughs> we did we did part one of dating. Now we're doing part two right. of dating because yeah. it's like the extension version of it. And then I figured that for next episode, it would only make sense that we dive into more specifics, which is actually like now being in a relationship. For sure. Because that's a completely different ballpark, nice. right? As we all know. And obviously, some of us are new to dating. Some of us are not new to dating. But um, I kind of just wanted to touch on the subject a little bit more. And more so, I kind of wanted to speak about like how maybe we could help women out. Because we're the guys, right? So we kind of know how we handle our stuff. Yeah. But my first question I wanted to ask you guys was more so like, what are the things that you guys think that women can do in order to kind of like sway you? Or like, what is your, like, do you guys prefer to be the one that approaches, not get approached? Like, how do you, like, how do you like that scenario to, to, Wait, to be Wait, what around? do you mean by sway? Like, like Riz? Like, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, right. Oh, a Riz for a girl? <laughs> like, what's the best way for a girl to have Riz over you? Can we, de definition of Riz, by the way, is like flirt with you to yeah. get the guy? Yeah, the way you All get right. the, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to flirt. Sometimes you can just pull one up. Okay, so the, the on, best the best on, riz for a girl, right? So that, that's what you're asking, right? The best riz for a girl. It has to be the smile. For me, it's the smile. Your girl smiles at me and it's a nice, cute little smile. And that's I'm it? Like, that's all? That's all no. no, that's not you're That's easy. not all it takes. Jesus I'm just Christ, saying, like, a nice easy. smile is a good... It's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good. <laughs> okay, actually, you know what? It's I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down into scenarios, all right? And then you guys will tell me yes or no. Do you guys prefer to slide or do you prefer that a girl slides in your DMs? I don't mind, but... I think it's always flattering if she slides first. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like it. I love it. I think it's the same for me, yeah. If she slides, it's, it's, it's cute. It's rare also, you know what I'm Actually, I want to touch on one thing, though. Because it's not every day that... I sound like we're the fucking... We're the gods of, of, of dating of and dating. stuff like that. But <laughs> yeah. You guys know where I'm coming from, yeah. right? We, ha we have a social media presence. So obviously, it happens a little bit more frequently than most people. So I, 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 I would understand that maybe not every guy is going to be able to relate because... If we're being frank, even before we had social media presences, well, maybe you was different. <laughs> but we weren't getting slid into the DMs on a daily that mm -hmm. we do now, right? So I don't think it's fair to, to judge it in that light. But given our situation, given that we do have these circumstances where we get slid into DMs, I also think that it is very flattering too. Because um, I feel like it, it, it shows that interest without you being unsure of it. Yeah, uh, you know, like yeah. it starts off like she follows you, you follow her back, like a couple of pictures, like a couple of stories. But then when she slides, she just one upped everybody else on the roster. Oh, most right. definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah, right away. And to be fair, I think it's safe to say we all have a roster. <laughs> no. Tell me, tell me right now, you guys don't have a roster. Wait, wait, wait. what do you mean by roster? <laughs> <laughs> First, no First round pick, draft. second round pick, you know draft. what I'm saying? Cuffing season coming up. <laughs> well, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it this way. I, I know for a fact that when it, when a guy you know freshly becomes single, mm -hmm. well, freshly a couple a couple weeks after becomes single, <laughs> you know it's 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 very fun to kind of like get back into the game and start chatting again and whatever. But then as time goes by, you start to kind of like narrow down your choices. Yeah, Do you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. yeah, and then you kind of categorize them like which is like a. You know, like a quick link, which is which is like me, maybe it's like somebody that I, like I would like hang out with, and which is might be like something a little bit more serious, you know. And then you kind yeah. of start like filtering them out left and right. You know yeah, what I mean? I get that. Then filtering them out left and right. Yeah, but but <laughs> I, I, you know what I mean. I know right? I know it sounds bad, but get that girls do the exact exactly. same thing. I was about to say the same it's thing the same with us. Thing, like yeah. uh, as much as you're filtering girls or whatever, this girl that in your roster is doing the same thing with you. She's yeah. looking at you and she's like, you're just a one-time thing, nothing else. Or we can go on a date. You're going to pay for me. And I'm going to enjoy my day, but we're yeah. not going to date. You know, like they do the exact same thing. Yeah. I know it sounds bad, but they do the same thing. So it's like, it's a fair game. You 100%. know, like this is, this is the, the single life. This is the street. You do it. Welcome I do it. Welcome to the street. 
Dude, <laughs> but honestly, but that's what it is. I've spoken to girls, and that's the same thing. If they don't want to cook that night, hey, hey, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight? You know what I mean? Which, which yeah. is fine. It's all game. Yeah, yeah. Because the guy doesn't have to say yes. You know, yes. you know what I mean? Yeah. But then so, he says yes. But then he says yes, and then she's like, I bet. And then and she doesn't have to do anything more than that. Yeah, but he's, he, probably, most of the guys don't know this, like the singles. They think that if she says that, he's getting some at the end of the night. Yeah. But for her, it's like, I want my whatever steak tacos or whatever the date that I'm not paying for because I don't want to cook. And then after, I'm tired. My head, I have a headache. Tomorrow, I have an exam at like 7.30. I have to wake up at 5 because I have to study. You heard all of these, bro. They have nothing to do. They're going back to the sleep, Netflix, (laughs) sleep. I've honestly never allowed that to happen to me, though. What do you mean? Like to be to be just kind of like hollered at and be like yo like uh, if she asks me like you know like what are you doing tonight and then I start saying like like you know let's go out for a dinner because you you at that point you know the game mm. you know like if it's been like you know a couple weeks that you're talking with her or like you guys haven't spoken and she randomly hits you up like you know what the intent is you yeah, know what I mean yeah. so like you're able to know but some guys don't and like I said it's all fair game for the if if, if the girl does that because mm. I mean if there was a way for us to get free food too. <laughs> We would do the same thing. Yo, free food especially, bro. Shit. Well, for us, we'd probably ask her if she's trying to cook tonight. Or, like, do you want to come over? Okay. Like, just chill, whatever. And then, or I food. can go to your place and we can make some food. And as in, we can make food as I'm talking to you while you make food, you know? <clears throat> yeah, or but then like, she, says, she says, no, nah, let's go out instead. So it's who? <laughs> mm. Either you stay in and she makes the food or you got you guys go on a date and you pay. Fair game, right? It'll probably end up with the date and you, I pay. No, it depends. Okay, because <laughs> you you don't like being rude, right? So you, you're a sweet it. talker, right? So like, if the girls just like, oh, come on, let's go on a date. If she asks you twice, knowing you, you'll be like, okay. But if you really, really want like her to just be like, yo, yo, come on, come on, you're not gonna do that because you're not rude. You you're just gonna be like, it's okay, we'll do whatever you want. Yeah. <sighs> no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, we'll just go on a date. It's fine. It's but honestly, deep. but th- this goes back to the point that I said before. All this to say, like, at the beginning, it starts off one way. And then when you start narrowing it down, yeah. right, you yeah. start only wanting to spend time with those who are serious. Like, me, at some point, <clears throat> if if I start getting serious with someone, like, I'll only start dedicating my time to and attention person. to them. You know what I mean? Because I can't, yeah. I won't be able to mentally. energy t- everywhere. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, like, as soon as, like, one starts to sway more than the others, right, like, one's at the top of the leaderboards. Well, then I'll start dedicating, like, more time and attention and, like, only be, like, doing things with that person to mm-hmm. not risk, like, fucking that up. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, yeah. like, I think guys have to be a little bit more conscientious. I think a lot of guys, they try to play the game, but, like, all the way through. Play all their cards. Exactly. And then, like, you know, you start, you start fucking with one girl and then all of a sudden, like, she finds out that you're also talking to these other girls and it's just, like... Next thing you know, you're talking to a whole group. You know what I mean? And, like, you could have just, like, put all of that on pause just for a little bit. See how it goes with this one girl. And if it doesn't work out, then go back. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but also all this to say back to what I was saying before as like the whole sliding the DMs and we have maybe a little bit more opportunities than others. Do you guys feel that clout has changed dating for y'all? Like you feel like oh in, my God. In the dating world yes. like, has changed since clout? Definitely. Let's say uh, back then uh, there was that one time I found this girl really cute whatsoever. And then I liked like a couple pics on uh, Instagram. And then she liked one picture and I was about to hit her up. And I was like, you know, I'm just stay calm whatsoever. And then uh, after the show, I came back. And she followed me and then liked like all my pictures and, and DM me right after, you know what I'm saying? Something I would not that would have not probably happened mm-hmm. before the show, you know. Mm-hmm. But you get a different breed of females in your DMs, bro. Like the girls like are like like they're straightforward. Straightforward. Mm-hmm. Like of, where if they if they just want sex, they're gonna let you know they just want sex. If they tonight? want yeah, yeah, if they wanna go on a date, like they'll they'll let you know. It's a different breed of woman that you got, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I, I think it's you. a good thing still. It's, it is. You don't waste your time. Facts. But then again, I, I do waste you my do time. You do waste your time. Because yeah. he entertains them all like yeah, this yeah. episode. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for my part, I don't... I, I think so a little bit, but I was already like on social yeah, media have, before yeah. the show, so it didn't really change. Uh, and then after I came out the show, I was in a relationship for the like couple months, seven months. And I just got recently single. So like, I can't tell you, but... Um, I, I have a lot of attention, like feminine uh, attention, mm-hmm. but it doesn't, like, I didn't entertain it. So I can't really answer the question because it was in a relationship I didn't care. But I know, like, now that I'm recently single, we'll see mm-hmm. what's going to happen. Uh, but I honestly, I don't care. Like, it doesn't right, change right. anything because even before I had this attention, I didn't really care. So, like, yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. 
I don't think it's something that 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 carries too much weight. It obviously just makes things maybe a little bit more easier. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's clout. Uh, people like clout regardless. So clout chasers, especially, you know, if a girl's doing something just because she wants a bit of clout, also like a bit of your clout. Bro, we had the same. Oh girl. my <laughs> god. <laughs> Yo, we we had the same girl as soon as we came out the show. There's this girl that was yo, like both we are both in a relationship at that time, and she was in our DMs, and we're not entertaining, not answering, whatever. We're just in our request, but nonstop, constantly, yeah. or Snapchat or Instagram, whatever it is, and. Like, I just, bro, I showed him to him, like, yo, what's wrong with this girl? And this guy's like, yo, me too. I'm yeah. like, what the, like, what are you doing, the right? Same exact girl. And and I, I, I don't know, as soon as you got single, did, did she ever came back? She came back, but less than uh, when I was How cast, does that as make sense? She, had, she was putting more pressure when I was in a relationship than me single. See, that's that for me is a red flag, because I think she wanted what, like, she wanted what she can't have. Mm -hmm. And maybe she wanted this clout because if she would have be able to break your relationship, exactly. then everyone would be like, the oh, who is this girl? Her. And then uh, Carl from <clears throat> Love Island uh, cheated with Nanana -na -na, and yeah. that she wanted this that thing. make a story or something like that. Make her name talk. Now it's thing. become like a group thing. Now that there's if there's a girl that follows you, she follows all of us, yes. and vice versa. <gasps> yeah, so she follows me, she follows y'all too, bro. You, bro, yeah. sometimes you guys like you'll send just someone a friend or whatever, and then you're like, oh yeah, she followed me, and I click on the profile, it says follow back. Yeah, yeah. Like it's just now is it's a group yeah. thing. It's I mean, nice. we're vibe. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> um, follow up question. I wanted to know because the you know. A lot of the times it's broken down, right? Sometimes girls will say, like, you know, don't chase him. Like, let him chase you. And sometimes we will also say, like, don't chase her. Like, let her chase you. What do you guys feel is kind of like the, like, what do you guys think is the best scenario? Do you guys prefer to be the one being chased after or do the chasing? I think it has to be a mix of both. As of I have to chase and she has to chase too. As we both know we want each other, but, like, we got to be able to like make you wait not make you wait be a little toxic wait a bit not answer right away stuff like that you know mm -hmm. it makes things interesting also in a way mm -hmm. in my opinion uh as for my part i'm gonna be honest i prefer when she chases me but like how how i see things if she's not literally obsessed with me then i'm never gonna chase her mm -hmm. I, I, if i know that you're obsessed with me then i'll chase you yeah no problem because i it's like it's all this chasing thing is an ego thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, if I start chasing you and I know you're not obsessed with me, like, you don't care, then fuck that, right? Mm -hmm. But I'll love chasing you if I know you're obsessed with me. Even if, like, we have this little issue, whatever, whatever, it doesn't bother me, I'll chase you. And then I know if they're, if I'm mad and you're so obsessed with me, then you'll chase me. Mm -hmm. But if it's not the case, then poobel, bro. I'm don't out. you like the, the, tr the thrill of, like, not being sure if she really likes you and then you're like, ah, oh, mixed vibes, whatever? It's like just a little, a little excited. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, I get, I get what you mean. I get what you mean, but it depends. But in my case, it, it was never the case. As soon as I got this like little flag that you don't care, yeah, mm -hmm. and then I, I was, I'm out. Right but I away. think that comes from a from a place of self worth, though. Okay. Because yeah. I feel like if you know what your worth is, you're not gonna waste your time like that. I mean, why would you, right? So yeah. like, if a girl is chasing you, right? Like, I I honestly prefer to be chased out too, mm -hmm. only because I know where I'm at in my life. I know what I'm able to provide. Therefore, if that person is not willing to chase in order to secure that bag, which is me, yeah. then I don't necessarily will attribute attention to it. But the minute that I start seeing that she, I mean, obsessive is a big word and chasing is a big word too. Like obviously there's some give and take, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the minute that you start to see that this girl is like really interested in you in ways that actually matter to you and not like in a weird like, you know, like clingy vibes, yeah. then yeah, I'll, at, at some point like you have to reciprocate the energy, right? Otherwise okay. it's not going to go anywhere. But I would have to say that I also enjoy being... Uh, chase as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have a question on top of that. Would you say then, in a relationship, is the man the prize or the woman the prize? <laughs> it's a it's a very 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 touchy touch <laughs> touch <laughs> touch thing. Um, I think both at the end of the day are the prize because they both have to kind of bring a balance at the end of the day, but. It, it, it depends, like, where the girl is at in her life and where the guy is at, at, at in his life. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, let's say, in, in in my situation where I'm able to provide, like, for myself and for them and, to, to, you know, take care of them in any, in any way, shape, or form, right? The only thing that I'm really asking for in return is just, you know, good vibes, good energy. Like, you know, be comfortable with, you know, with one another. And, like, no headaches, just, like, just blissfulness, you know? Mm -hmm. So in that case, in a situation where I'm going to be the one that's going to be able to provide and do all these great things for her... 
I'm going to go off on a tangent and I'll let you guys answer because the thing is, the the girl that I'm going to have, the good girl that I'm going to have, right? Because good girls and girls in general are two different things. A good girl that's out there is one that's like super complimentary to you, right? Like she 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 gives you everything you want. She's an asset to you, mm-hmm. right? And all those good girls, typically as of right now, they're all taken. Mm. Those who aren't taken probably recently got out of a you know out of a bad relationship yeah. with a guy that's not good for them. Mm-hmm. So there are some that kind of liberate themselves if ever they're not taken. But if they are taken, it's because they're being taken care of a guy that is able to take care of them as we would be able to as well. Like yeah. they're able to hold it down. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the good girls that are more, uh, you know roaming the streets are ones that haven't been taken care of a good guy yet. So when I get that good girl, she's going to be treated like a queen. Mm. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, and, uh, you know, she's going to be taken care of. She's going to be respected all the way throughout the entire relationship. <coughs> now, the thing is, she will then at that point, you know, be the prize for me. Because mm-hmm. that's how I will treat her is, you know, the prize. But yeah. essentially, when it comes down to getting into the relationship, like who like should be claiming who, I feel that in my situation in particular that I would be the prize for her. So it's not more it's not saying that I'm more valuable than her in any way shape or form. It's just more so like if she were to get me, she would be winning. Okay. Mm. Cuz she's getting me as as a boyfriend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. But then she becomes my prize later down the line because she's the one who's going to hold it down for me. She's going to keep me in check. She's going to keep me on my toes. She's going to make sure that I'm continuing what I'm doing and what I got going on, you know? Yeah. So I think both are the prize. I just think at first I'm the prize for her. That's okay. <laughs> The way I see it, it's a bit different in the life itself. Let's say the way I see it basically is um, I think none of us are the prices until we have a kid. <clears throat> the way I see it is basically we both start at as just human beings, you know what I'm saying? And then we get to know each other and everything. And then we get in the dating whatsoever relationship and then we grow together. We walk together. There's no me running after you, you running after me. We'll walk together and grow together, you know? And then afterwards, when we're able to just like, make everything work, everything be so like pure and simple. Then let's say we have a kid. That kid itself is the, um, how do you say that? The big goal, the big like reward mm. in a way. So the kid that we're going to have is the prize in my opinion. Mm. So as soon as you have that kid, boom, you guys made it enough, started with the, uh, started as nothing, like not knowing each other and everything. And then boom, you made that prize, which is the kid that you're going to have with your partner. You know, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Well said. That's how I say it. That's that's how I see it. I have nothing to add to so this. Just you, agree, cool. you mix both or you just don't want to get into hot water? <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this is so good. Um, honestly, I, even if I asked the question, I never in my like in my relationship, past relationship, was like, oh, I'm the price, you're the price, or yeah, whatever, whatever. Of course. Uh, I do think the same as you. As soon as I, I'm in a relationship, I really love the girl, yeah. she's going to be my price. Yeah. That's why in the last episode, I said, we're talking about like body counts and everything, blah, 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 exclusivity, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I like when my girl is, like she walks in a room and all the men are turning like, damn, she's bad. Who is this girl? You know, And she's not accessible because she's my price. Yeah. So yeah, I get that. She She's... She's my prize. And then for her, it's the same thing. I think that I should be her prize too. Absolutely. Uh, and that's why it's very complimentary to what she said. Because if both of us are a prize, then we're just like we're equal. And, yeah. then, and then we have a kid. <clears throat> and then the kid is the prize. That's why I really like what you just said. Yeah. Uh, I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think all relationships should be like that. And not one or the other be like, oh, um, I'm better than you. Exactly. Or I'm better than you. Yeah. And something I don't like is a lot of people. You know, I, I hear a lot of girls saying, oh, I like my guy medium ugly. So then I can feel like I'm the prettier yeah. or the prize or whatever. Oh, like, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. No, I have a story. Medium ugly. <clears throat> Two minute story, okay? Medium ugly. <laughs> you ordering a steak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so I was dating this girl, right? This girl's from Toronto and everything. And a uh, relationship was going well and everything. Toronto, huh? Going yeah. over to the dark side. <laughs> the, the dark, dark side? side? Fuck, Some bro. people are not going to like what you just said. <laughs> I, uh, Toronto women are a different breed. Bro. I love you. Uh, and I think they could agree with that too. So it's nothing. I, I agree. Still. So yeah, I was dating this girl and everything. <laughs> and so this girl, I'm just going to fast forward to the end, which was the last time I saw her. Because I was like, okay, yeah, this shit's not working. She said to me towards the end, she said, me and you is never going to work. Or we're never going to be able to date whatsoever. My like, why? Like we're just we've been having fun, everything is fine, blah blah blah. 
And she said, I cannot accept the fact that you're prettier than me in this relationship. Wow. How does that make any sense? <laughs> like, bro, like, how are, you supposed, <laughs> how are you supposed to feel? Are you supposed to be like, thanks? Or you thanks supposed yeah, to exactly. Like, 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 what? I, and I was like, wait, how how does that make sense? Don't you want your, your men to be fine too? Like, the fuck? Yeah, you guys and she's like, together. no, I can't. Like, it, it doesn't work for me. And then guess what? Michu was there, right? Shout out Michu. Shout, Shout out Michu. Michu was there. And so I was like, wait, wait, wait. Can you say the same thing you just said to Michu, right? Mm. And then she said the same thing to Michu. That's crazy. And I, she was like kind of laughing while she said it because she was Bold. like, oh, it's not that serious, right? She's bold as fuck. <laughs> Shout out to Michu. Michu. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> Michu. Michu looked at her, did not laugh with her, nothing. And right where at the restaurant, and said to her, that sounds like insecurities to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Like, I'm on a date with the shorty. I'm presenting Yo, I, I, I imagine me too on top of that. that. Me too just being like. <laughs> <laughs> just that sounds like insecurities <laughs> to me. I just like. Oh, exactly. Asked, bro, He's just bro, chilling. Actually, his posture was exactly like this. That sounds like <laughs> to me. I can picture that scene so well. And then, and then the girl's like, "What are you talking about?" And gets gets heated up, and and he stays like this, so calm. He just didn't want to hear it. He's just yeah, like, keep no. He was moving. like, he he just waited for her to finish, and then he was like, "I I don't really care what you're saying. Is that I was just insecurities?" Wow. And I was wow. looking at him, and I was next to him, and I was like. Yo, bro, chill out. Stop. What are you talking Stop. about? And he thought when I did that, that was like en encouraging, encour yeah, 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 encouraging, yeah, like encouraging, yeah. encouraging. Yeah. And then he's like, yeah, yeah. And then continue. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's how much she's insecure and everything. Yo, she got heated up. She's she just like went to the bathroom, or whatever. And then I looked at him like this. I'm like, yo, you good? Like, why are you? And he's like, oh, I thought you wanted me to continue. I'm like, no, Damn. bro, what? But he was kind of right, though. He kind of did you a favor, Still, no cap. Yeah. It made you dodge that bullet. Facts. Yeah. Not oh. wasting your time. But I mean, look, we're going to tap into a whole different segment uh, in, in the next episode, which we're going to like dive deep into relationships, mm -hmm. right? Because dating is one thing. But then relationships, as we all know, is a whole different ballpark on its own. You mm. know what I mean? Yes. Um, but going on the whole attractiveness side of things, I wanted to kind of you know, help the fellas out. Because, you know, we've all gone through, you know, through blow-ups, right? We weren't always, you know, we were fugly at some point. Right? Fugly? Fugly. It's funny. I was, I was scuggly, bro. You were scuggly? Yeah. And what does that mean? Skinny and ugly, bro. <laughs> that I was, crazy. I was fugly. I was fat and ugly. It's crazy. <laughs> Where were you? Like, I was like, none of those. <laughs> nah. I was, I don't know. I didn't came up with a word. You were lugly. Lugly. Light skin and ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh what but that us I, I wanted to kind of break down and maybe we could help each other out. like what would be three things that we could kind of say that would help a guy's attractiveness in like a short period of time right and it, uh, what is what's short because like you know we could say we could say, <laughs> we could say, we could say go to the gym yeah. but that is something that's like that's you know over the course of like you know a few months will change someone's attractiveness okay. you know i'm talking like like the basics like me for example i'll start it off and you guys could you know pitch in but always making sure that you have a like a like a clean cut Okay. Oh, facts. you know what I mean. If you yeah. got if you got like long hair, or whatever, like you know, there's a way that you can maintain it that it looks clean. Mm -hmm. You know, the beard too, like the scruffiness and whatever, like you know, you're able to like line yeah. that shit up, you know, yeah. every now and then. So like that would be one, for example. Second, I would say hygiene. Hygiene, <laughs> bro. Go go to your nearby store, whatever. Pick a good, uh, what is what's the, the cologne? Word? Cologne, perfume, perfume. What is cologne? Cologne what is like, what is cologne? Is it the same thing? Yeah, more or less. It's like yeah. different. Anyways, I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, what? what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, so sure. go to the yeah. nearby store, buy a good perfume, and just make sure you have a good hygiene. Like, girls, it's the first thing they smell. Like, wash your mouth, have a good hygiene, and then I sort of got this is going to have a plus two, plus three right away. You always need, this is, this is, this is my tactic, and um, you always need three different kinds of perfumes. As you guys know, I have three perfumes all the time actually, in my car. It actually does. There, you need one perfume that's your day-to-day. -day. 
right? Which is like you just you, you, you get up, you're not doing anything particular. You might not even have anything planned, but you just you know you spray, which is like more like a, like a sweet lighter smell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then you have the second one, right? Which is where if ever you're in, in a group settings, right, that you're gonna go see you know um, you know a, gr- a group of friends, and there's gonna be females around, and there, there's gonna be a, some kind of social interaction. Yeah. Right. Which is also like you know like a like a sweet but pleasant smell, right? But then you have the other one where it's more so like on a like like a dark aesthetic, like you're going out for dinner, yeah. or like it's more formal, right? And then you get yourself like a little like darker tone type perfume, perfume a little bit more mus- muscular, a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, yo, if you guys want a free course on perfumes, <laughs> that's your yeah. something that she's gonna remember. Also, exactly. like as yeah, soon yeah, as yeah. you go, something like, different. You go. And they yeah. know, bro. Yeah. They when you go it. for like a hug, yeah. you you go to do the you know that, that bees, they, they go. I know what happened to you guys. A girl just hugging you and then. Yeah, and then you're like, "Yo, you good? You smell good. Damn, facts." And it's nice. It's compliment. I like yeah, it. You know, you like, you like, that. you like that. And then you're like, <laughs> you know, you feel like, ooh, shit. You want another one? Another <laughs> hug? You know what I'm saying? But it, they Definitely. do do that. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. you can always know by like the tightness of the hug. Yeah, and then you're like, I can't breathe. Type of shit. But hygiene, yeah. but hygiene is one too. Just mm-hmm. overall, just you know. Do you have a third one? Yeah, um, I would say, to be honest, it sounds maybe corny or whatsoever, but watch podcasts about dating. Just like, um, let's say, like, guys talking about how to get girls or uh, anything like that. If you just, you're just chilling out in your room whatsoever, you just listen to, like, that one random podcast that says how to get a girl one-on-one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not doing anything, so might as well just listen to it while cooking, while doing, like, whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, oh, shit, that could actually work. And then it gets in your subconscious, subconscious, subconscious? subconscious you know, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, somehow it just comes out. When yeah. you're talking to a girl, it just comes. You're like, shit. Yeah, I got, I got a game. You know, but that requires a lot of confidence, though. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, you could learn all you want about listen, you know, by listening to, on podcasts. But in mm-hmm. order to actually execute it in like real life situations, you're not going to be computing in your mind like what you listen to the podcast. Oh, should you know I have what I'm to saying? say this because she said that? Yeah, yeah like you could start yourself like on like on like based on like the foundation of what you listen yeah. to. But once you're in the real game. It's it's, it's it's completely free for all, you know what I mean? Like they're gonna cut, you know, catch you off guard, and you can't be like, "Oh shit, I didn't learn this from my podcast." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but yeah, no, definitely those things. I think were the, are the are the most important. But I think I would have to say that another big one is to get yourself some nice drip. Oh, for sure. You know Actually, I mean? if she likes you enough, she won't really care. Bro, we're, yeah, bro, we're talking. We're talking. Yeah. We're not talking about your girl, like your shot. We're talking about like. When you want to get into dating, okay, yeah, right? yeah, dating. So like okay, she has, yeah. she knows nothing about you. She's gonna base off of like how you how mm-hmm. you're dressed, right? Yeah. On top of that, you know. So yeah. I think getting yourself like some basic drip, black or white game. clothes. Don't need to go complicated with colors. Just yeah, the, something white, something black. White shoes, black shoes doesn't matter. Pants, shirts, everything. Let's Facts. not say drip. Let's say you just dress, dress well. well, dress Because well. drip, it seems like oh, like I have to have swag on, but you don't necessarily need no, swag no. on, like a nice shirt, nothing designer, yeah. nothing like that. Just something that shows, you know, like a little something bit of your physique. Simple, but nice. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nothing yeah. lose something that just looks you know clean nice to look at yeah mm-hmm. eye candy a mix of everything perfume this everything <clears throat> i think those are like the three main things that people could kind of uh, uh get to love and then the the thing is what do you guys think is a way like one one or or multiple things that a guy could do in order to kind of work on his on his confidence because dating takes a whole lot of confidence mm, so now you're talking short term or long term uh, any term i think just in terms of, of dating right so not long term just like when you when people first like start want to you know date like there is a level of confidence that you have to have in order to execute properly right yeah. you don't have the confidence a girl's gonna push you into a corner and you're gonna you're gonna you know you're gonna like shrink up and you're gonna <laughs> choke you know what i mean yeah. i mean before getting in the dating world i would say obviously go to the gym like everyone says to build up your confidence but after it doesn't necessarily it helps you but it doesn't like like you said earlier like she can call you off guard saying things and if you don't have that's the, my second point communi- communication skills mm-hmm. right and this is probably more a long term thing and you can't necessarily like you learn it overnight but you need to like talk to people whatever start or like Omega is that the, <laughs> the app Omega just talk to people <laughs> Bro, whatever. what are we in 2003 <laughs> <laughs> yo people still use it though that's crazy you just use it talk to people and you yo if someone gets you a question that you can't answer skip but if you go on Omega you're gonna lose your confidence real quick because the only Why? thing you're gonna see is just a bunch a of bunch dicks, of dicks. <laughs> bro oh, <what? laughs> that's the only thing you're gonna see on Omega your confidence right, bad, is advice then, bad advice then bad advice then I get what you mean though What what can you do you can't just go right away to a first date and then if you don't want to fuck it up on your first date, what do you, you can do at, before? Yeah. Well, what I've, what I've kind of dealt with, with with some of my clients that are scared to get back into the dating game after being in a relationship for so long is that I always tell them just to do like baby steps. You know, like and especially in real life. 
Like if you if you go to go you know if you go to do your groceries right you could talk to the cashier nothing yeah. creepy you could just start by saying what's up you're just, you know just by saying hi and then the next time you go you know to the groceries like how two weeks doing? later a month later you know hey how you doing yeah and then after that you know you could practice in real life situations right with real life people mm-hmm. and you could kind of like gradually work your way into gaining the confidence there but then the second thing that has helped me a lot and this goes for dating but also everything that I got going on in my life right now is developing the mindset of you know, life is too short, therefore I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. You know, like, if I fuck up with a girl, if I shoot my shot and she says no, like, I don't give a fuck, like, don't let it be a thing that it affects your ego. You know, so you really have to have that I don't give a fuck mentality so that if ever you do get rejected, there's a bunch of other fish in the sea. And again, it goes back to that self-worth thing. If you know the kind of person you are and you know what you're able to provide long-term, then the person that's missing out on you, you're just like, bet, (laughs) you're lost. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think also what would help in your self-confidence would be self-talk as of you got to tell yourself oh i look good oh i'm great oh mm-hmm. i'm i'm I, I can do i can achieve my goals i can i can i can you know say only positive things that your mind is gonna you know subconscious sub- subconsciously all right can english <laughs> <laughs> subconscious you know uh get uh to you and uh that, that'll help a lot mm-hmm. just wake up and i'm great i'm happy i'm i look good i got a nice smile i got this, this and that and you're just gonna feel better also in my opinion yeah mm. Do you guys, after the first date, this just came to me, do you guys kiss on the first date? I don't care if it's there, it's there. If it's not, it's not. Yeah, pretty much. It's supposed to, but I'm never going to lean. Like, lean to go? Never. If she, if I see that that's what she want, then come and get it. But I'm not going. I'm not going to. You're not I never, going? Bro, it's been a long time that I stopped. Like, even when I, before the last relationship, I had two years relationship, two years a single. And I was not initiate any move the reason i'm doing that is because there's so many girls out there you know them what i'm talking about that as soon as you do the move as a sexually or kiss or whatever and then she wasn't sure about it and then after she calls you of rapist or things like that girls go crazy out there that since then me i don't care if it's just a little kiss i don't do it you're gonna grab me and then you'll go. I'm not gonna go and then you'll like talk to your friends and be like, oh, he forced me to kiss him, blah, 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 blah. Hell no. This is like the last thing I want for my ego. Forced? Yeah. Me? Mm. Get out of here. Mm. Oh, um, the way I see it is if we're on a date, everything is great whatsoever. I bring her back to her crib and then uh, at the door with you know, all that cute stuff. Mm. If she looks at me in my eyes and in my lips and my eyes and then, you know, that yeah. this, I wanna kiss you type of shit, I'm, I'm like, I wanna kiss you too. It's like, Let's let's just get at it. You know what I'm saying? I'll I'll lean if I have to. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't yeah, I don't I really that. mind about. There's that. also moments where you can kind of tell, like if she's like, yeah. let's say for example, you go to drop her up at her home, for example, and she's kind of like staying in the car. Mm, she's not going, is. you know, at home yeah. like right away. She's not saying bye right away. And you guys are kind of just chit chatting, but then you guys start to realize you guys are talking actually about like absolutely nothing. It's the it's you just stay there. You're like, oh, uh, you're home. You can you can leave, and then she's like, yeah, I could. Yeah, I really could. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I do have you know work in the morning and stuff. But what are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If they start yeah. like exciting the conversation, then you know that you know that that the opportunity is there. You know. Yeah, it's it's in the eyes, in my opinion. Yeah. You see it. I felt I realized that getting older, it's something that happens like more and more frequently. Mm-hmm. Like uh, like yeah, like more and more often when you go on first dates. Because I feel like it's when the older you get, it's it's a lot more the whole dating aspect of things is, is like accelerated. You mm-hmm. know stuff that you didn't know before. Well, you know stuff, but you also you're 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 more you're less likely to want to waste time mm. so like it's just like boom let's get this out of the way good kisser not good kisser like you know check it off check you know what i mean so i because when we get into a relationship now why say we I'm, I'm talking about like like people that are a little bit uh older in their, in their 20s it's when you get into like your next relationship at this day and age you're like things are moving fast like you're not waiting in like you know th- like four five six years before you get married mm-hmm. or have kids i mean some people do and that's totally fine yeah. but i'm just saying like it's a lot more accelerated whether instead of like having met someone like when you're 21. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You have like a whole like future in front of you, which you still do when you're in your late 20s, but it's just like you're yeah, not you're time. still on the cl- like you're still on the clock. Mm-hmm. Especially for women, they're yeah. on a biological clock. You know what I mean? Yeah. At some point in time they won't be able to have kids, right? Yeah. Um how did we go into, get to this point with that? No <laughs> we're idea. the first kiss, but you guys know what I mean. You know yeah. you guys yeah. know where I'm coming from. Yeah. Um and uh another thing too is when you guys are kind of, you know, like dating right are you guys like talking to i I, obviously we we spoke about this but i want to be specific are you guys talking to multiple people at once or you guys just focusing on one person at a time 
And by one person at a time, I mean like you could be talking to like one girl, try it out for like two, three weeks, it doesn't work out, and then you kind of go to the next. Or are you deliberately having, like I said, like a roster of like you're just constantly talking to? What are you smiling at? <laughs> I'm just listening. Oh, because you got a roster? <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> uh, for my part, I get bored very fast, so I can't entertain multiple people at the same time. Uh, I'll talk to like one person. If you go as dating, yeah, I have to have the conversation with the girl, like, are we exclusive or not? At and some then, point. Mm -hmm. At some point, yeah. But, like, if I'm talking to someone more seriously, let's say I see this person uh, once a week and twice a week, whatever, it doesn't mean that I'm not talking to other people, but I don't talk to them the same way I'm talking to that one person. Right. And until, like, honestly, I'm never going to disrespect anybody in this. I just... For me, my rule is always like, can we have a conversation about it? Like, did we say we're exclusive? Did we say that you can't see any talk to anybody? Blah blah blah. It's I think it's as simple as that. For some people, it's like, oh, as soon as you talk to me, even if it's been three days, you're talking to me, or you're mine. And I'm like, what, what? What are you talking about? Like, we, what are you? <laughs> what mine. is this? We're just talking the DMs, like you know. So mm -hmm. then I, I, I can get like bored or annoyed or whatever on all that, and then yeah. Do you think that's a that's a red flag though? What? Like, let's say, for example, I, I won't say three days, but let's say you were talking to a girl for three weeks, right? Mm -hmm. you, three weeks, a month, right? You're still unsure about it. She seems to be a little bit more sure, mm -hmm. right? But since you're unsure about it, you still allow yourself to talk to other women, right? And then the girl that you've been talking to for a month ends up finding out. Do you think she has the right to feel some type of way yeah, about that most definitely but then is that seen as a red flag to you or do you feel that that's like a reasonable reaction from her so it would it would depend it happened to me actually so no fucking uh, shit <laughs> <laughs> so so it depend it depend how she reacts right she can feel some type of way obviously because if in her way she was super exclusive after the second week she was exclusive, but we never had the conversation about it or whatever whatsoever. We just never Two had the conversation. Weeks. Let's say, let's say, right? And then she can feel some type of way and be like, oh, like, I didn't know you were talking to somebody else. Like, for me, I didn't talk to no one. And then she reacts in some mm. type of way. But if you start screaming at me, snapping and all this, I'm out, bro. Like, there's no way. We're not even in a relationship yet. And you start screaming at me, what's going to happen when I'm going to, we're going to have big beef, bro? You're going to throw knives at me? Like, what is this? So, like, for me, it's that. So she's and Latina, maybe, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, actually, knives. the soul, the the soul, the the only girl that ever did that to me was um, uh, she was not Latina, she was Arabic, and um, I was she was throwing stuff at you. No, she was no, no, no. She just she got super mad at me for okay. liking pictures, and we're not even in a relationship whatsoever. For liking pictures, for liking pictures, not even talking to someone else, just liking pictures. I got you, bro. I, I got so many questions for for the relationship episode. It's crazy. Because th those things are, are very, very, you know, subjective to each relationship, you know, so yeah, I wanna, I, I'm yeah. going to get you guys' take on that, but... I, it's crazy to me, anyways, yeah. Fuck. You? Do you have a roster, or do you... Do you... <coughs> the, way I, the way I work with service, yo, guys, you guys know I'm a social butterfly. Yeah. I like to talk to everyone, I like to just chit-chat whatsoever, whatsoever, you know? And the way I see it is, I have a lot of people I talk to, but it's not all to get in relationships or dating whatsoever. It's also, like random chit chats we're just talking about something i posted something you posted and we're just having a chat yeah so i don't see it as um uh, roster in a way you know because for me let's say because i'm a personal trainer it's also like potential customers you know oh, yeah. we talk we talk and then let's say the next thing you know we're talking about gym stuff and like oh are you are you looking to for a trainer blah blah and boom customer right away potential the, customer that call yes what are you guys training Cardio? Cardio. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the worst part because sometimes, sometimes it's like um, I want to train them as gym stuff whatsoever, but then again, I don't know if they want to fuck or actually tr train. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then again, if they pay me, am I going to get paid to... F uh, anyways, you know what would I'm saying? You, would you accept sex as payment? No. No. As payment, especially for personal training, that's my like... Job whatsoever, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. payment, bro. I, I, You're give sure, me, Carl. Give She's me a twelve out of ten. 12? twelve out of ten. You guys, <laughs> said, said 12. twelve. You guys, you guys go to the gym and she's supposed to pay you fifty dollars for the session, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But she, she pulls just... one. Of, she pulls one of like, um, you know, do you accept any other form of payment? And then tells you like, we can go back to my place. On my life, he says yes. She says we can go back to my place and get my wallet. <laughs> We're getting her wallet, and then whatever happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I know, I know, I know you wouldn't. No, basically, I'll just get the the money and then whatever happens happens, you know. So you'll you'll stay professional until she. A hundred percent, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, regardless, no, I'm that. I'm doing this 
because I like it, because I like training people and just helping them uh, in uh, to get fit whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then again, if I can make money out of it, why not? So it's. But I feel like you would be too into it anyways. I feel like like because it has to do with like your business and you're mm-hmm. training someone, I feel yeah. like you'd be like too into it. Where if she starts flirting with you, you're just going to be like, yo, do your <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's not, yo, it's 30 seconds. Go, go, you know what I'm saying? Should be yeah. start flirting, whatever, and then he'd yeah. be like, 30 seconds. Yeah, start your set. Clock. Five, four, three, <laughs> two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. No, I get that. Um, but uh, one thing, speaking on, on the topic of, you know, different kinds of form of payment, um, how important, I'm not talking about in a relationship, right? I'm talking about specifically dating. How important do you guys feel it is to have had sex with someone before getting into a relationship? Do you think like it's an absolute must that you you should at least have sex one time while you guys are dating before getting into a relationship? Or do you guys feel like it's something that, you know, you kind of wait until... Like, if ever she says, like, you know, I don't want to have sex until, like, we're actually, like, in a relationship. Like, do you guys respect that? Or is it for you, like, a something that you guys need to have, like, experience before cuffing? I'm good with it. As of if you don't want to have sex before we get in a relationship, if I like you enough, what? (laughs) (laughs) If I like you enough and you like me enough and everything works out, it'll be great. Because regardless, I feel like sex itself is always better when you have an emotional connection with the person. Uh, Yeah, absolutely. So if you're with the person and everything works out and she wants you to wait before having sex, I would not mind. Mm. Yeah. Uh, for my part, I my view did change on that before. Uh, like, let's say uh, four or five years ago, whatever. I, I I had to have sex before coming in a relationship or whatsoever, right? And then, like, recently, but not recently, but let's yeah, say yeah. in the last couple of years or whatever, I think I it doesn't bother me, actually. If you don't want to have sex before, we're in a relationship whatsoever, it really doesn't bother me because I agree with you. I need an emotional connection to be in a relationship with you. So, like, if we have to, uh, to be, not to be in a relationship, yeah, but yeah. to have sex with you. Um, so, if we, therefore, if we need to be in a relationship for you to have sex with me, that's, that's fine. If I have this connection with you, it wouldn't bother me anyways. We're going to enjoy our time, whatever. And then, as I said many times, for me the only key is can we have a like a, talk uh, about it? Talk about it. Yeah. You know, if we can talk about it and you tell me, I hey, listen, I'm not comfortable having sex with you before, blah blah blah. For me, anyways, it's kind of a green flag if you think about it, because it means that any other guy probably that she's talking to or whatever mm-hmm. that she's she, not she, having the yeah. green light whatsoever. No, exactly. So mm-hmm. she's not just throwing herself out there or whatever. She's just waiting for the right person. I love that. And like, she's love being that really for exclusive. you. Love that for me. Yeah, she's exclusive for she's exclusive for herself. Mm-hmm. Therefore, she's being exclusive for her next man to be, well, the good man. Right. Yeah. She's love being that. selective. Yeah, she's yes. being selective and uh, I, I love that for her. And it's not like uh, disrespect for people that prefer to have sex before just so they know because for them, sex is very important. So mm-hmm. they'll have sex right away and then all like we're not a matching like sexual partners whatever and then they'll just leave and that's okay too that's that's up to them that's why i'm like it doesn't bother me for me but Mm -hmm. my main point is i need an emotional connection so yeah Mm -hmm. same here matt i mean you know emotional connection mental connection because like we had mentioned on on a a few episodes ago like already for me if i don't have that it's not gonna work yeah physically it's just not gonna work (laughs) out you know what i mean so if we have to wait, like I'm, I'm, I'm okay with, uh, with it, but I still find that it holds like a lot of weight. Like I'm not saying it's the, you know, it's a fundamental for a relationship, but I feel like a long term, it's something that's gonna keep the relationship intact the down the line. You know what I yeah. mean? Because you know, at the beginning, especially like when you're young too, it's, it's, it's very easy to have sex often. You know, but you know, once you've been together for an extensive amount of time, like six years, ten years, twelve, you know, it, like obviously you're not maybe having it as much as you used to, but that's why I feel like it's important to kind of, you know, see how it's like in the beginning Mm -hmm. to then know what you could kind of expect like down the line. Because if I'm being honest, if, if I were to be, and this is me personally, if I were to be with a girl that has like a low libido, it's not going to work out for me Mm long-term. You know what I mean? Because if it's, if it's low now and it's, you know, with time, it's going to get even lower than that, that I'm kind of going to be like, like, you know, this is, you know, so for me, I have to kind of know what it's going to be like before getting into a serious relationship because you could kind of preemptively see how it's going to look like down the line. You know 100%. what I mean? Yeah. But although I'll respect it, like if, if I'm head over here for the girl and she, and she wants to wait and I have some idea of how she is, you know, sexually, because maybe she's expressed it or we've, we've spoken about it in a certain type of way, I'll be willing to, to wait. But I feel like it's still something that needs to be done before kind of 
getting into it becoming exclusive. Real, real. Yeah, you know what I getting mean. Getting into it before getting into Get, it. Getting into it before getting into it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Definitely, sex is fun though. If you want to have sex before, before anything, I hope it's fun. The fuck, the fuck. <laughs> Wait, it, you're saying as if like for some people it's a task. I mean. <clears throat> Do you think it's more, it's more I, for girls or for guys? Well, I think it becomes a task if you're not if you're not connected with the person. With the person, yeah. Why do girls stay? Um, we need to have a, we need to, we need to have a panel of girls too, bro. Uh, yeah, most definitely. I would love to get have their their, Her per, opinion. their their opinion on it. What do you it. think about that? Do you love sex? What do you guys <laughs> think? <laughs> what do you guys think? Next episode, if we can, or maybe in the next episode, if we yeah. bring a guest with us, uh, that would be probably a girl, so she can give her opinion. Yeah, we'll let us in the comment. We'll have another segment about dating, but we'll we'll kind of what do you put the girls on it? blast you know what I'm about relationships too, because I want to know the like, dirty secrets, bro. I want to know. I want to know all everything. that stuff. Yeah. Curious. I want to be ahead of the. I want to be ahead of the curve. I have I have ideas in my head. I'm just thinking about like mm-hmm. other. Girls that potential come. questions, yeah, yeah. But I, be, I guess we'll see. I was about to say, so why girls stay physically when in their head they already left emotionally in their relationship? Not to hurt the partner, I guess. Yeah, I think, I think uh, most of the time it's like that. And why guys leave physically but still there emotionally? <laughs> Are you saying that guys cheat more than girls? Huh? What? Are you saying that guys cheat more? No, than he's saying girls? leave. He's not saying cheat. Like I leaves. Leave. Oh, leave the relationship. Yeah, leave. Okay, I thought leave to go see someone else. No, just leave. Okay, like, okay. Leave the relationship physically, even if they're still there emotionally, while girls will leave emotionally but still there physically. Yeah. Well, one, I know for a fact that it's uh, women do most of the, of the leaving relationships. Mm-hmm. Like they will leave more often than guys will. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I feel like because they have to do the leaving, I feel like it takes a lot more for them to leave. Like it takes a lot of like energy like yeah. for them to be able to leave the relationship because they know the kind of harm that they're going to be doing to the guy. I do believe that women are also more empathetic than men. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. they're able to kind of like a little bit more like uh, like sensitive to emotions and stuff. So they know the kind of damage that they're going to cause. Therefore, they're more willing to stay physically until they're, they're really pushed to the edge and then they'll break up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then they'll kind of just in certain in certain circumstances like you know just shut up, have sex with him to keep him you know happy, mm-hmm. even though they're not necessarily happy, happy and, and they've checked out you know emotionally right. Yeah. They're just still holding on to like this little glimpse of hope. That's crazy because most guys will be blind on this, like they not notice anything, that their girl no. is unhappy. Yeah. But but you know why though? Mm. It's because those guys first they're very comfortable, and second of all, I tend to believe that's because they don't have a lot going for themselves. Mm. And I feel that what they feel they associate their worth to is is their girl and their mm-hmm. relationship rather than themselves. Yeah. Because like I said, if you know what your self-worth is and you got like all your shit lined up and you got like a whole grind in front of you, your focus and your dedication is not solely tied to your girl. Only that. And I'm saying this because I used to be like that at some point. At some point, my whole dedica- my whole world was my girl. And then when I went through the breakup, it absolutely destroyed me. Right. Mm-hmm. But that, that has never, ever, ever happened again. You know, so that's why for me, the only reason in, in that circumstance that I would have left would have been because of a lack of sex, mm. because if not emotionally and, and mentally, I was bonded to that relationship. Yeah. But the, the thing that was taking a toll was the lack of sex. And that was what was lining me up to wanting to leave, because mm. that to me was the only thing that in my eyes I was lacking. Right. So that's why I will check out sexually before I check out mentally, because okay. to me, like I'll fight until... To the world ends, bro. <laughs> it's so, it's so, it, like dating a relationship, and I don't want to dive too into it because I want to save it for the for the next episode. But dating is so, it's so weird, and I feel like it got so much weirder with time, with the times, and like where we are at now, and the era that we're in, and how people think, and this whole divide between men and women now, and toxic masculinity and feminism. It's just become so. Like, bro, why can't it just be, like, like simple? And that's how I've, how I've took in dating recently. Like, me, I'm so cookie-cut, like, like this is what I want. This is what I'm expecting. Like, if you ain't it, like, don't waste my time. And, like, let's, that's like, you let's know go on to the next thing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. But, like, it's it, it feels like there's so much, like, you know, games. And I feel like there's, I feel like people are just, you know, almost, it seems like they're explicitly wanting to fuck each other over. And it's just, like, like, why? But I think it's a trend to be toxic now. I don't, don't know that. And I, I don't get why. I think it's just the fact that you know you can get, you have options. You see girls or guys all over the internet mm. 24-7. You see guys and girls on TikTok 24-7. So you always feel like you have 
options. So having that one girl, if it doesn't work with her, you'll just be like, okay, it's cool because I can have another one. Same for the girls. If it doesn't work with this guy, I can have another one because there's so much option compared to like back then when you could only get like the girl from ta- from your town. You know what I'm saying? Because there's, yeah. there's no like communication whatsoever out with the world or outside mm. your it's town no more, it's itself. Not, it's, it's, no, it's not anymore about love. It's about lust. Mm. That's what kind of people are chasing. They're chasing lust, right? And then mm. as soon as like, you know, that they fulfill that aspect and they're like, nah, like I don't fuck with you anymore. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I find what's fucked up is that like I, and spe- to elaborate on your point, it's because that they know that have options. Like why would you want to settle for this when you know you have all of this mm-hmm. potential? Like say, you know, this, all of this, this guy is better. And or, oh, this girl is 100%. better. 100%. Because I'm not going to waste my time with you because I feel like this one, mm, you know what, it's cool. If it doesn't work, you have mixed signals whatsoever, it's cool. I'll just drop you and go to that person and test the water over there. Well, if uh, it's better, what's it's better. the word there with gratification? Uh, instant it's gratification. Instant gratification. That's that's the issue. You'll have a like a long relationship, whatever, whatsoever. Everything is like beautiful. Maybe down the lines, it'll be super beautiful, whatever. And then you'll find, like you just said, that person that looks beautiful. And then you, you'll leave that person for that person and have that instant gratification. But that person is bad energy anyways. Yeah. But it looks... She looks good though. But it's She'll, it's false. crazy because looks is so like you, you you're not gonna look good your whole life. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get old and all grumpy and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Old and grumpy. Yeah. So you're not gonna look good at like you were 23, 26, 30, like your whole life. You know? But that's what what that's what I for men, I think that's why they will cheat mm. is because of that instant gratification. Mm. Because it's it's purely on a on a sexually driven based uh, yeah. incentive. Rarely, in my opinion, will a guy necessarily and and it does happen. Don't get me wrong, but will a guy leave for potentially falling in love with someone else? Mm-hmm. While we'll being in a relationship, typically it is lust. Like you want to, you know, but that typically stems from something that you're lacking in your own relationship. Yeah, right. Like you're not having sex, therefore what you're looking for and why you'll end up cheating is because you're looking for sex, uh, you know, yeah. um, uh, out there. And women typically it's the opposite. So they'll typically think they'll typically feel like okay my 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 boyfriend or husband is not checked in with me mentally and emotionally i don't feel like he's necessarily there for me therefore if there's a guy that comes along and starts stimulating them on that aspect we're like you know like i could take care of you like we'll have a great time and stuff like that that to them will kind of make them want to leave their relationship and kind of chase that thrill mm, which yeah. is the emotional and mental thrill right and it's just kind of how we're, we're we're programmed, you know. And it's it, and going back to your point to what you said before, that's a main reason why I've never to this day, and I say this as like a, as a, as a flex, but I say this humbly too because I'm I'm happy about it. Like I've never downloaded, I've downloaded, but I've never used or even made a profile on a dating app, okay. ever, 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 ever. I'm super traditional. I like you know at the very least you know DMs is 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 an option that's that's there. Mm-hmm. But if not, like I'm super like I'm into like the old fashioned like just meeting somebody and when it happens to me it happens to me and like yeah. i'm not i'm not going out of my way to soul search mm-hmm. because i got this 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 and this got going on i got mm-hmm. my friends i got my family and all that so like i said to me having a, a you know a wife or a girlfriend is a bonus it has to be an asset yeah you know what i mean so I, i'm not necessarily going out of my way to look for that because i got everything else that i need in my life yeah okay so long mm-hmm. as everything around me is good then i'm blessed mm. yeah you know mm-hmm. so would you would you say you're ready for kids but I've been ready for kids, <laughs> <laughs> but that's my that's my own personal take. You know, if I were to have kids, or like if something would have happened and I end up having a kid, and I'm I'm a single dad, like I'm all I'm for it. Every time he sees a baby, he's like, oh. I love kids, bro. Guys, I'm so ready. The other time, bro, we're just walking in this store and we saw this mannequin, and then it was like a, a small kid. one, little kid, whatever. And then Serge is looking at this. He's like, guys, it's so cute. It's so fucking. Cute. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. I want, I want a kid. And he was just in his feelings. And then I was like, Carl, do you hear this guy? Yeah. And I just walked away from Serge. <laughs> I was like, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is, bro. I'm just, I'm, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready in the sense, like, look, like, if, if it were to be, like, a realistic uh, standpoint, I do not want one. Don't get me wrong. I don't want one. Like, where I'm at and what I want to do and yeah. whatever, I don't want one. Yeah. But if, if it were to happen, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be ecstatic. Like, I'd, I'd. I'd You'd be excited. It's, it's a kid, bro. It's a life. It's a little... Imagine a little, you, a little... A little surgery. surgery. A, mini, a little mini Sergito. A hundred percent essentials on him. Gold. For real. Gold gold on him. A hundred percent. Tatted. Like, ta- well, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, to <laughs> be honest, I was going to say, I was like, no, I can't say that. <laughs> it's not going to get tatted. No, but, but the, the reason is, though, is that I feel like I have so much to give yeah. right, as a person that... And, and I mean, you guys have seen... Well, you know, but you've seen how I am in a relationship, yeah. right? 
So if I could be like the same way, but like for like someone else, and like this is like my blood, like this is my bloodline, like I want to give this kid, you know, the world, right? And mm. I want to, I, I don't know, I just want to be able to be, I, I want to be, it, it's a good feeling to be able to take care of someone else and see them literally from ground zero and yeah. kind of see like the kind of man that they're going to be or the daughter that they're going to be growing up, you know, the woman that they're going to be in the future. I don't know, this, I feel like there's something that's just, I feel like that's, in essence like it's that's that's your reason you know? to be on this earth you know yeah. is to be able to see that happen you know that's your price that's 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 dead ass your price honestly yeah. i wish you just like a woman to be so obsessive with you bro a beautiful woman to be obsessive with you so you can have, so I can have a family. kid you guys can see it happen yeah. I, i'm gonna see it i know i'm gonna see it then I, i'll see you when bro when you're gonna tell me <sighs> I'm gonna lose my shit, bro. He is. And then I would see him cry. And I'm like, yo, 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 you good? <laughs> She's pregnant. I'm like, no, for real, bro. That's really good. Yeah, so great. First time I'm gonna see him cry. Dead ass, bro. Yeah. Dead ass. I'm glad I don't cry. I, I, it's the first time I'm gonna see him cry, and then and then I, I, she's gonna have a big Betty, whatever. And every time I'm gonna be with Sergio, he's gonna be like this, touching it. Oh, I can feel it. He moved. He moved. Yo, go. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, search. It's been the like twelfth time today, bro. Like it's so. Touch. Uh, the, fuck yeah. <laughs> the fucking baby's <laughs> kicking, bro. It's kicking. Yeah. <laughs> fucking two weeks in, I can feel it already. Type of shit. <laughs> dude, yeah, dude, like relax. Relax. <laughs> relax. It's not even. A, it's an embryo still. Like, what are you talking <laughs> about, my guy? <laughs> uh, no, I love that. But the, 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 there's, there's things I want to talk about this specific subject on on the next relationship episode, but. Yeah, all right. I think I think I think we've done the tour on dating. I'm I'm very interested. Like further down the line, guys. Like you know, especially when we have the, the, the new studio. Like we'll have other guests. People. We'll have the other perspective. We'll have the women be able to speak for themselves and express what they want to express. Maybe even change the way that we think on certain things too. Facts. I think it would be super super interesting. Uh, but I think on that note, this was part two on dating. I think we've helped out a lot of the fellas and the ladies too in some way. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to listen to us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Um, yeah, five star review on Apple. Yeah. Yes, I I, re I figured out the other day it's five stars on Apple Podcast. Okay, but I want to Amazon. I want Amazon too. Uh, I want to make it Amazon. <laughs> you want to sell CDs, um, bro? But in other news, it's been your boy Sergio's talks, Matt, Carl, and we out. See y'all next episode. See ya. Adios.